Bájale a esa porfa. ¿Cómo? Good evening, my dear Elizabeth, Jose. Thank you for being on time for your classes. I hope that you're ready. How was your day? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, Magdiel, are you already at home or are you still driving? I am at home. Hey, you're but at it's, home. it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Same here. Despite, despite uh, that connection. Yes, yes. We live nearby and here it's raining. Uh, I think it started to rain up at about um um maybe a quarter to six, I guess. And it hasn't stopped. So yes, we will try to um we will try to to teach as normal and uh, I'm ready to get with my <laughs> with my fun internet connection in case that it fails, but Thank you so much for making the effort to be here on your classes. And um, Elizabeth, Magdiel, and Jose, uh, how are you doing with the platform? Do you have any question about any exercise? We are almost finishing. Uh, It's okay, it's a part of the I just uh, uh, have completed uh, the medium, medium term. The, the medium term. term. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's um, try to start working on section number four and the final exam. We're just missing um, six, uh, no, seven classes. Mm -hmm. and when, we when, when we are going to finish? Um, let me, it's, this course is going to be finishing on, on the 12th, September 12th. Mm -hmm. <coughs> September 12th, it's the last day. Mm -hmm. uh, September 12th, yes, seven days. Seven business day or okay, Elizabeth. Thank you for letting me know. You're having issues with your microphone. Uh, I see that Alex is connecting. Thank you so much for being in the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. It was a normal day, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, At sure. Now, well, tomorrow is weekend. <laughs> yeah. And ready for the weekend? Any plan for the weekend? No, just maybe take a nap, <laughs> a long nap. <laughs> yes, we have the same plan. Well, but I, I have to. Mm, I have to wash my dog. <laughs> Uh, because, yes, uh, last time uh, I paid grooming, but uh, it's my turn. I'm going to do it by, by myself. I'm not, I'm not going to get her to the, the bed, so I'm going to do it myself. And then after that, yes, I'm going to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Watch TV, sleep. Eat, watch TV, sleep. Eat, watch TV, and sleep. <laughs> it sounds like a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's begin. Um, I'm going to start sharing. Uh, yesterday we were discussing about this um this exercise. Uh, let me make the screen bigger for you. And then um, yes, we were discussing about these comments made by by those parents. And um, we discussed the first one and, and, and the second, right? So what if you're, uh, it says, if our daughter insists on having her nails done, he has to pay, 
he has to pay it for herself. What do you think? What do you think? I, I think that they probably spend uh, or they invest um, a lot of money on their food studies and trying um, and trying to provide them with the best things and maybe uh, getting nails done is not like it's not like an like urgent need. Or is not necessary at that age? What do you think? What is your opinion? Well, uh huh. Uh, well, maybe I don't know, but I have this way of thinking that maybe it does. Uh, her responsibilities like studying and getting grade A, yeah, in all the classes. Uh, maybe you should give her a little reward. Uh, maybe in that way you can teach them uh, um, the value of the effort um, that 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 kind of. Discipline can reward you. Yeah. Oh, that's a very, very good idea. Mm -hmm. So they learn the value of money. They, they, yes, mm -hmm. they, they think uh, that sometimes I, I tell myself, you think that I just go out and look for a three and then I got money from a three. This is not like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good point. Anybody else? Okay, thank you so much for your opinion. Let's move to the next um, comment. It says, our son wants to buy a motorcycle. He has the money, but we feel he should save it for college. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion? Hi, teacher. Um... I think uh, uh, save money for college. Mm, <laughs> well, it depends the kind of college, but motorcycle is uh, very dangerous uh, to drive, drive, you know, a lot of accident. But mm, yeah, maybe I agree with the parents. It's better to save it for college or for another, uh, for another good thing. Uh huh. I, yes, I think the same. So I agree with you, Emerson. Thank you so much for um giving us your point of view. It's it's yes. I I think it's it's really dangerous, and I uh I think that is they're going to be worried every single day, thinking that their son is, uh is anywhere in the street riding a motorcycle being so dangerous and probably he mm, I, I know that it, they they need uh maybe to have a, a a means of transportation but maybe they could um ask him to continue saving money to and buy a car rather than a motorcycle but um Yes. Um, anybody else? What's your opinion about this comment? I think uh, the college is more important um, than, than to buy a motorcycle. Uh huh. Yes, that's that's a very very good point. Uh, to um, to tell them that that uh maybe something material um, uh, and what if they crash the car? Then they would have nothing. But um, 
the knowledge that they get, the career, nobody can take that away. Mm -hmm. That's that last forever <laughs> until they die. <laughs> that is a forever thing. Anybody else? Okay, thank you so much, my dear uh, Nemerton. Uh -huh. If you were younger, what, what, um, what do you, what do you think? What would I choose or what would I do? What do you think if you uh, were younger? Okay, if I were younger, uh, it, same thing about the motorcycle? Yes. Okay. I, well, I, I'm of these are chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I'm, I'm easily scared. So, and I, I, I think that um, maybe not a motorcycle. I would like uh, maybe to have a car. Um, because I never like to uh, travel by bus since it's always crowded, it's slow, it's dangerous. So yes, maybe I would like to have a car, but studies are more important uh, because um, maybe I could, I could get a, maybe some money, save money, but um, being young, I think that you wouldn't have enough money to pay for a good car. And in that way, you would buy a problem. An old car is a problem. You have to spend lots of money on mechanics, fixing them. So I think that maybe um, the first thing is to get, um, to finish a career, to get a degree, start working and save money for a good car. Being patient, it always pays good. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> can you drive motorcycle? Okay, thank you so much for your question. Um, uh, let's read the next comment. It says, our daughter wants to go to a rock concert with her friend. Absolutely not. What do you think? Well, I think that this kind of thing are like something unnecessary. <laughs> yes, so maybe I agree with the woman. Yeah, I don't know, but I have seen a lot of people uh, buying tickets. Uh, like if if uh, like if uh, it is uh, something very important they even uh, uh, they uh, pass all the night waiting for these making quests um, yeah maybe <laughs> that is something that I don't know if it is not if it's not necessary to live or or to I don't know maybe give you something of value uh, yeah it's, it is a lot of money <laughs> a waste of money those people they are already rich <laughs> millionaires sometimes they have a lot of money and then poor people they lend money they sell their things in order to get the money for a ticket so that's crazy yeah. so yes you have a very good point thank you so much for sharing Alex Anybody else? I think that if if you have the money and it, it doesn't hurt your pocket, okay, go ahead, do it. And uh, saying like, absolutely not, I think it's too strict. Um, 
maybe they could, if they have the money, of course, um, and it's not going to affect their their groceries or <laughs> or in some uh, paying some bills. That's okay. I I think that they should say, okay, you can go, but I'll go with you. I I want to stay with you. I, I'm gonna be close to you. Where well, I'm going to go in case that they are afraid because maybe they think that um that that's um people who likes rock they are violent maybe they think that and um and it's not always like that and uh, sometimes they are nice people so they could join her and be with them in the concert if they have the money of course but uh, I disagree with uh, with people that sell their things or lend money in order to buy a ticket. That's I, I think that's that's not that is insane. <laughs> Any other opinion? I think uh, it depends. It depends. Many, it depends how many years he is. Uh, he is because. Uh, it, it depends, of course. Your age and younger, I think your parents uh, have the reason. Because you, you say the violence and your concert could be a uh, Danger. I think that. Yes, absolutely. That is, um, that is a good point. So thank you so much for sharing. Now let's move uh to the next comment. It says our son wants to have his hair cut at an expensive salon. What's wrong with a regular barber? What do you think? I'm not experienced uh, having my hair cut in a barber, so <laughs> what, what do you think? Magdiel, Alex, uh, Luis, Emerson Victor. What do you think? I couldn't I couldn't say enough money for to get to your hair. Okay, so I you wouldn't pay um a lot of money in order to get your hair cut. I prefer a cheaper salad or, or normal, regular burger. A normal or regular burger. Yeah. Yes, I, I I think it's it's um yes regular barbers um regular hair salons sometimes are better than the expensive ones. And yes, in an expensive salon, one one haircut. That's right. Thank you so much for sharing your opinion. Anybody else? I think, uh, well, to a uh, uh, expensive salon. Maybe I will only give this as a gift. Maybe if it was his his birthday, but only once in order to let him know how expensive it is to go to a to expensive salon, but only once. Only once, just for them to realize the that there is a huge difference in money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I, I think that's a good idea. 
you know, I, I want you to do that for my older son, but then I, I, I asked what was the price? And they say $35 at La Gran Vía. I said, that's crazy. So I said, no, I, I I'd rather let him, uh, let him choose uh, the birthday cake. So <laughs> that's what I did. So uh, I, I told him, okay, that uh, we're going to have a cake for your birthday. Um, and you're going to choose. You want it from uh, La Teclenia or you want it from La San Martin? And he said, I would like to have a carrot cake from La San Martin. So I said, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and then... <laughs> Yes, and then we get to a, a, a regular barber. So he had his hair cut and the birthday cake that he wanted. Um, pay <laughs> for, $35 for one simple cut? Hair no. cut, yes. No, so we enjoyed a, a delicious cake and he looked handsome with a hair cut from a regular barber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's, it's not necessary to waste the money. It, it costs. Um, the, the point that you express is completely valid and it is correct. We, um, $35 is like more than one working day for most of us. So, you know. It's so much. Now, the last one, it says, regardless of color, we refuse to let our kids get their hair dyed. What do you think? What's your opinion about dyeing hair? Um, well, I think that maybe, uh, uh, I, I think that they may feel that, um, it's dangerous probably. Well, that's my point of view. I think that, um, it's dangerous. They, they have chemicals that can affect them if they are really young. So uh, I... I think that young people or kids shouldn't get their hair dyed. What do you think? I agree with you. Some, I think uh, there's some uh, components to dyeing hair that uh, in order to get much customers, they use any kind of color or type of company for that and mm -hmm. that could be dangerous for the for the hair so maybe I suggest some um, I don't know any 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 other kind of of peinado hair hairstyle hairstyle but, or hair but, too. that's it but not uh, die entirely. Okay, hairdo is peinado. Ahí se los puse en el chat. The hairdo is a peinado. Yes, I think that would be um, good to offer them a hairdo instead of uh, of uh, of getting their hair dyed. So and let them know that. Uh, it's dangerous because of the chemicals and that they will be in contact. They will inhale those chemicals and they might affect their health and their lungs. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for your point of view, for sharing with us. Uh, now, to continue talking about... Um, uh, the causative verbs, we have this vocabulary and we will need to match the verbs in column A with the nouns in column B. For example, check. Um, the best option here is 
for check is my blood pressure. Check my blood pressure. And number two would be cut. Cut what? My hair can be? Uh, uh, yes, excellent. Cut my hair. Number three, do? What do you think? That would be do my nails. Do my nails could be. Excellent. That is correct. Uh, do. Eh, eh, esto cuando nos por ejemplo eh, con el cabello si se va a cortar dijimos que es cut cut uh, or get my hair cut etc eh, para las eh, las uñas si es de arreglarse las uñas es do my nails o si voy a ir a otro lado so I say uh, I, I will get my nails done Okay, iré a que me arreglen las uñas. Get my nails done. Or if I do it by myself, I, I do my nails, etc. Lo mismo con el, el peinado. Lo que este, decía Alex, el peinado en sí, la palabra peinado es a hair do. Si yo digo, necesito que me hagan un peinado para mi cumpleaños, por ejemplo, sería, I need to get my hair done. Uh -huh. Ahí se los puse en el chat. I need to get my hair done for my birthday party. That's an example. Uh, good. Now let's continue with fix. My computer. Yeah. My computer. Excellent. Fix my computer. Print. Yeah, my photos. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Print my photos and remove. A stain. A stain. stain, excellent. Remove a stain and shorten my pants. My pants, excellent. Now, with these verbs, we are going to uh, continue in part B. First, use the items in part A, the ones that we already did, uh, to write where can I get or where can I have? Uh, do you remember which one is uh, more formal? That is the only have. difference. Have, excellent. The only difference is that they are, uh, have is like more formal. So you can ask uh, with where can I get or where can I have? And um, questions for speaker a and then with right responses for speaker b using your own ideas and we have one example already done for you where can i get my blood pressure checked that's a question and then you write uh, the response you can get it checked at the king street clinic uh, and then the next one would be cut my hair. Which one, what would be the question with cut my hair? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta con cut my hair? Where can I have my hair cut? Excellent. Where can I have my hair cut? O podrían hacerla con get one. Where can I get my hair cut? And then you can say, 
Oh, you can get your hair cut at um, Stilos Salon. <laughs> I don't know. You 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 mention any any salon? Okay. Uh, is the exercise clear? We already complete the number one and two. Uh, so we need to complete with do, fix, print, remove, and shorten as we did the, the collocation. I'll give you time and let me know when you're ready. Um, questions and your own answers.
Have you finished the questions? Have you finished writing the questions and the answers? Only two missing. Only two missing, okay. I'll give you one more minute. Okay, we're going to go to breakout rooms to ask and answer these questions so that you can practice uh, speaking on the structure that we've been um, practicing the last days. So let me uh, create a breakout room so that you can go ahead and practice with your classmates.
Okay. So, well, the first one is already done, right? So the second question, I I write I written like uh, where where can I have my hair cut it? And the answer is uh, you can have it cut it at the barber place. Barber place. Okay, now can you ask the question to another classmate? Maybe Alex. Okay, so Alex, where where can I have my hair cut it? Uh, where you can have it cut uh, in Metro Center. Okay, you can have it cut at Metro Centro. Okay. Uh, at Alex, would you like to ask the same question to Magdiel or Jose or Elizabeth? Guadalupe is still working. So you can ask Elizabeth, Magdiel, or Jose or William. The same question. Okay. Uh, where can I get cut my hair? Where can I have my hair cut? A uh, quien le preguntaría? To whom? Emerson. Elizabeth. Oh. Emerson. My dear. I am available. Okay. You can get a hair cut in style salon. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, Martian, you can ask the next question. Next question. You can okay. ask Emerson and Alex. They are available. Elizabeth, I don't know. Jose, Big William, let us know. Okay, Emerson. It's about where can I have to do my nail? Um, you can have you can have your nails done at Multiplaza because there's a lot of places there. Oh, there are a lot of places where you can have your nails done. Yeah, okay. done. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, um, William, where can I get my nails done? Parece que no está disponible, William. Tal vez Alex, este, Elizabeth, José. Uh, okay, Elizabeth, uh, where can I get my nails done? Okay, parece que Alex. entonces solo serían Alex, Magdiel y ustedes, Marzón. Solo entre ustedes tres van a practicar porque los demás, solo Guadalupe me dice que está todavía trabajando. Los demás no sé. Okay, Alex. Uh, can you repeat me the question? Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, where can I get my nails done? I don't know a lot about that. But <laughs> maybe, <laughs> well, I, I, I have a girlfriend. Uh, she told me a place uh, that is uh, located in Metropolis and Gabriel, I guess. Uh, it is called... Poison, I, I guess there is uh, a nail salon, I guess, or I don't know, I don't remember <laughs> if it is a, a normal salon. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a tattoo studio, <laughs> Poison. Yeah. Or a bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alex, ask the next question. Okay. 
Um, where can I get my computer fixed? Me? Uh, yes, uh, my yeah. Okay. You can get the uh, computer fixed in a smart, smart computer. A compu smart, compu smart. Okay, you can ask Emerson or okay. where can I get where can I get fix my computer? Oh you can get it fixed in Zona Digital at Plaza Merliot. Okay. okay. Good to know. Um Nos dice Elizabeth que su micrófono está dañado y William aún está en el trabajo, pero están por ahí escuchando. Así es que pues vamos a seguir. Eh, gracias por confirmar que están escuchando, aunque no puedan practicar, pero es importante que saber que están por ahí activos de alguna forma, al menos escuchando. Ok, next, print my photos. Okay, uh, where can I have my photos print? To uh, Alex. Okay, um, where well, you can get your photos printed in color. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kodak? maybe in Metro Centro or Plata Popa. Ah, yeah, uh-huh. I, I thought that they had disappeared. Oh, they, they, they are still working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. with the cell phones, uh, <laughs> the cell is low, but. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me see. Uh, where can I get a, a stain on my sweet? Uh, remove it. A stain on your suit. Uh -huh, on my suit, uh, remove it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can get the stain or... removed. The, st the stain removed. The dry clean. Dry clean. Or you can get a stain the move of your suit in the dry clean. Okay, yes, that's a good idea. Or you can have the stain removed at um, martinizing. Or yes. you can have the stain removed at home using OxyClean. That's very, very good. It works. Okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very effective. Okay, if... Next question. With the uh, shirt in my pants. Where can I get... No. Where can I get shirt? My pants. My pants, shorter. Mm -hmm. Where can I get my pants shorter? Alex? Mm 
Maybe you can get your pants uh, shortened. Um, Mexicanos, there are a lot of business that work with uh, dress and clothes at this time. Well, it's the only place I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not I think that you can get your pants shortened at the uh well there are a, a couple of tailors at um I, I don't know what's the name of that uh it, it is a shopping mall in Santa Elena uh, where it's uh there is a club with canela uh, it's, I don't know, Plaza Santa Elena. I, I don't know <laughs> what is the name of the, the mall, but yes, uh, there are, um, there, there is a, a, a place where they, they, they fix clothes, any kind of, of, of any kind, if you want to get them new, new, uh, new done or, or redone <laughs> they do it and they work very very beautiful i recommend that please teacher and, how do you say um, posturero or posturera uh well um it's a sim seamstress as seamstress as costurera but like in Es mismo usado en, en británico, es dressmaker, eh, sería dressmaker, ahí se las estoy poniendo. Dressmaker es costurera y sastre es tailor. Ahí se los puse en el meeting chat. Un sastre que es el que es como para los hombres, ¿verdad? Hacer pantalones de hombres, especialista en ropa de hombres. Sastre es tailor. Y la costurera dressmaker. And now, um, ya que están en breakout rooms here, uh, les voy a pasar los enlaces que están en la siguiente diapositiva. Ok, ahí los tienen en el chat. Son dos enlaces. Esos enlaces son de ejercicios como los que hicimos la vez pasada que me comentaban que les habían... Eh, gustado que les funcionaron bien son interactivos y ahí pueden ustedes eh, chequear las respuestas alguien puede compartir si sí, está habilitada la opción alguien puede compartir pantalla en el grupo para que hagan los ejercicios eh, discutan la respuesta a los tres Matiel, Emerson, Alex y pues por ahí Guadalupe, José y Elizabeth que están escuchándonos eh, pueden eh, Hacerlo individual ahí en el trabajo. Guadalupe dice que ya puede participar. Eh, qué bueno. Ahí está en el chat eh, los dos links para que practiquen. Eh, esta sería la última práctica de los Cossetty Bears. Eh, antes de pasar a la lectura final de la sección 3. Eh, luego de esto, chequearíamos asistencia, pero por ahorita tienen eh, tiempo para, para que se metan a esos links y Alguien puede compartir pantalla para que o los puedan hacer individualmente en su teléfono o en su computadora. Son dos enlaces, son dos sitios y lo mismo van a practicar los Cossetty Bird. Son ejercicios interactivos. Voy a dejar un momento el room para irme a la principal a, a dar las indicaciones a los que están ahí. Okay. ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. So you can start working in the links and then I'm going to join again. Okay. Um, can you share the...
Yeah, we finished in the breakout rooms the previous exercise asking and answering the questions. And now I shared two links. I'm going to share them back again here in the meeting chat. So there you have the two links so that you can work on those two exercises and check your own answers. I'll be here in case you do have any questions. I had the documents typed, yeah. Check, check the, the answer. I got, I got the washing machine fixed. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have, oh, I have, I have the grass cut. Yes. I 
I got my bedroom painted. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I have my fridge prepared. I got okay. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Check it. Great. Next one. Good. I got my seed check. I got the nickel made. Yes.
I I have, have the mm -hmm. continue, continue. <laughs> okay. I had the report written. In past participle. Yeah, yeah, written, yeah. No, no. Replace the, the O with the E, the I. Read, double, double T. No, uh, uh, no, 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 it's not a E, it's a I, yeah, sorry, I. Yes. Do you know what is past participle of real? I think here is written the same thing. Is so it the same, the same, same word. word? The same word, yeah. Can you see? Yes. yes. Okay. Take off.
to do. Um, fixed. Uh, fixed. Fixed. She had to have her. Do you family. have any questions so far? Sorry. It's okay. It's a part teacher. Hmm? Change. We are working on the link. What, what is the question? No, no, we are working on the link. Oh, you're working? Yes, I see it. And I, I left. I left the meeting room when, uh, when you finished with the first link, which I said yes. that you did a very good job. And how are you feeling with the exercises? Are they interesting? Easy? Too easy? <laughs> Maybe 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 not that easy, but it's very uh, it's a good link, you know. Yes, and, a lot of, a lot of examples. Yes, and the good thing is that you can check your answers and also if well, I see that in the previous link, all your answers were correct and you were checking them. And if by any chance you get a wrong answer, you can um you can have the the correct one so just click uh show answers or i, I saw a button like that no me acuerdo show creo que decía es para que le muestre la respuesta correcta entonces no se queda como que y porque está mala que hice mal sino que ahí mismo puede ver cómo era lo correcto en caso que se hubieran equivocado pero no i saw that you did it great so continue working and let me know if you have any questions. I am here watching. Okay. okay. The number four is, is okay. I think it's in present. The no, no it's uh, the I uh, the the forma I la forma del verbo original change or is in past. Present. I think it's change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Shorten, shorten, then no. Shorten. I don't know. I don't know too. <laughs> I don't know either. Her dress has was too long, so she had it shortened. Yeah, I think it shortened it. Shortened. Yeah. If that is wrong, is uh because of Guadalupe. <laughs> You better have a plumber. You better.
get your data. Okay. The teacher got the students right the first quant quatrain of the poem to make it easy to memorize. Right. Right. Are you sure? Right? Mm. <laughs> okay, leave it like that. Ya casi termina. Luego vamos a revisar. I think... Mm, I think it's two, right? But I'm not sure. But I will choose to write. And uh, well, regular repetition makes one learn. Let's, let's, let's check. Okay. Number 10. Yeah. It's incorrect. Mm -hmm. No la veo. I, I, I didn't see it. Um, Number four. Number it's four. Uh-huh. With have or had, the verb must be in the participle. El verbo tiene que ser en participio con have or had. So I think the has changed. Um, and which other one? Number 10. Number 10. Uh -huh. Number 10. Recuerden que cuando usamos get or got más una cosa, eh, se utiliza el verbo en forma simple. Por ejemplo, lo, lo, estuvimos practicándolo Uh, creo que an, ayer o antier. Y ahora lo practicamos, uh, ayer y ahora fue entonces con get, something y luego el verbo. Cuando es el get con algo, entonces el verbo se utiliza en forma simple. Pero si es el get más alguien, el verbo va a ir con el to, en infinitivo con to. Okay? Ese es, es, hay que tener ese cuidado con get. Si voy a decir get with something, el verbo va simple. Pero si get con alguien, es con infinitivo el to. Por ejemplo, ahí the teacher got, y ahí hay un alguien, los estudiantes. Entonces el verbo iría con to. The teacher got the student to write. Uh -huh. Pero si digo el get con un algo, como el cabello, lo que estábamos hablando es get my hair cut. El verbo va en simple, no lleva el tú. Uh, no sé si me expliqué bien. Yes, teacher. Ok, eso es lo único que hay que tener en mente. Entonces seleccionamos to write y pueden darle submit, creo. Se puede. Y el 4, ajá, changed. Con have y hard siempre va a ser... Eh, participio el verbo. Ajá, y ahí está. Ok. Uh -huh. Y pues ahí pueden eh, volverlo a hacer, ahí tienen los links y yo creo que este sitio les da para más ejercicios o si no les voy a buscar más links relacionados a este tema. Pues a mí. Uh, any question? No. No? Okay. So, no. see you in the main sections. We're going to check attendance.
Okay, I have everybody back again. Thank you so much um, for working on the links exercise. It helped us to refresh some things that we have discussed before, like in the previous days, and to for you to have the material handy about get and have, I sent the PDF file that I used in order to uh, to have some extra material on that topic with more explanation, more examples. So I already shared it with you in the WhatsApp group so that you can check again and refresh your knowledge. Now we're going to check attendance. Please say present as you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Alex Enrique Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Gertrudis Aymara Baquerano. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Jose Enrique Pineda Tobar. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you. Matiel Esau García. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Nelani Alexandra Martínez. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz. William Alexander Rosales. Okay, Stephanie, thank you for reminding me that you're having issues with your microphone. I already wrote that you were present in the attendance list. Thank you, Carla, Jose Enrique, and Stephanie for writing in the chat. Um, and now let's move to continue. We have a reading exercise. Let me get the file on your PDF so it can be easier. I thought it was ready. All right, good. Okay, I'm sharing screen and we have this reading comprehension exercise. This is on page 32 of your material. Let me make it a little bit bigger for us to read. We're going to read uh, this paragraph um, that is uh, about the importance of being first to create a memorable plan and then answer the questions. After you answer the questions, we're going to check them together. Do I have a volunteer to read the first part of the paragraph? Me, teacher. 
Thank you so much, Guadalupe. Okay. About 40 years, so years ago, marketing strategies all rise and Jack Trout offered the world a way to, to think about marking a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your, pro your prospect's mind representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their fu function. Scope tape, Kleenex, Serum, Xerox. Xerox? It's, not, mm -hmm. it, it's not accident. They were also the first. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Uh, next, volunteer for the next paragraph, people. Me, teacher. Thank you, Alexander. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and it, is, and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have hoped to create. You'll find it you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan to pick up different perception one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading, Alexander. And the last part of the paragraph. A volunteer to read? Yes, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Next, please. We we'll have never made it if Red Hastings idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbusters. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of, block, of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading this part of the paragraph. And now questions. Who offered the concept of memorable branding? What are some brands that have become synonyms with their function? Add three more. Okay, so you will read the paragraph. Uh, take the one that are there include and add three more. Uh, what is a better alternative to create the perception of an already existing product? Uh, number four, what would have happened if Reed Hastin had opened rent a video store instead of innovating the service? What did Netflix do differently? Hmm. I'll give it time for you to answer those questions. And you can do it individually. You can uh, get into the, the PDF file. It is on page 32 so that you can read again the paragraph and be able to answer the questions. I'll give it time.
Okay, I uh, volunteer to answer the question number one, who offered the concept of memorable branding? Um, the memorable branding, it was offered by uh, Arise and Jack Troop. Excellent, that is correct, thank you so much. Number two, what are some brands that have become synonymous with their function? Um, the brands, it's a uh, Scotch tape, Kleenex, and Xerox. Mm -hmm. and add three the, more? Uh -huh. The three more could be, uh, well, the Google company. Mm -hmm. And... and uh, the brand of uh, Mercedes-Benz from cars. Okay. And um, the, the, I don't know, how can I say, uh, Band-Aid, Curitas. Yeah, Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. Band-Aid, the, uh, the, the brand is the Curitas, right? As you say, I'm yeah. good, right? that is the, <laughs> the name of the brand, and they are band eight. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number three, what is a better alternative to creating the perception of an already existing product? Mm, maybe try to, to pick uh, some different perception from people in order to be the first to to be to be established mm, sounds good number four what would have happened if Reed Hastings had offered and rent a video store instead of innovating the service mm, that would be a good competition because um, when in the moment when Blockbuster start, it was uh, a very uh, um, what can I say? It's a it was a good idea from people to have to 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 do the easy to easy have to easy a easy way to rent movies. Mm hmm. Yes, an easier way to get the movies. Uh, what did Netflix do differently? Well, Netflix put all the the movies online, and you know, the everybody has access to to internet through through cell phones or or smart TV. So it's more easy it's easier to get a movie from online instead of going out from home yes yes that they sell that idea to people and that was nice really nice because you save time and uh yes you could um maybe uh lose your money in case that if you forget to return the movie i i i don't know I think that there was a fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a fee. If mm -hmm. we, if if someone, uh, uh, maybe got damaged the, the movie, the cas cassette, mm -hmm. the videotape, or if we, there's a limit, a limit days to having the the, the tape. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. They made people aware of the benefits of uh, having the movies online rather than the, going to a, a location, uh, in that case, Blockbuster. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much for your answers. Okay. And uh, well, with this, we finished the section number three. I hope that you can complete the sections one, two, three, uh, midterm exam and start working on section four. Remember that we just 
missing seven classes and we're going to be finishing this module. So by now, thank you so much for um, joining today's section. I know that despite of the rain, you were here, so that's nice of you. Thank you so much. And I hope that you have a very, very good weekend. Try to rest and see you on Monday. See you Monday, teacher. See you. Bye. Karen, Bye. enjoy your weekend.